First, let's have a look at the culture process of suspension cells. Starting from a cell line, first is cell recovery, followed by transfection, the aim of which is to implant the required exogenous genes into the cells to enable the cells to steadily express the required proteins. After the transfected cell line is screened out, culture expansion of these cells is performed in shake flask. At the stage of shake flask culture, the optimum culture conditions are obtained via exploration and the cells receive further culture expansion. The maximum volume of nest shake flask is 5 liters, and then the culture will be transferred to a wave bag and bioreactor gradually. The circular rotation of shake flask and the wave movement of wave bags both aim for better gas exchange and to prevent cell precipitation at the bottom. Nest products will be used through the whole process, cryogenic vials and shake flasks, and we are working on the R&D of wave bags. The theme today is the introduction of shake flasks for cell culture. There are two kinds of Nest shake flasks, Erlenmeyer flask and high efficiency Erlenmeyer flask. There are two kinds of raw materials for conical shake flasks, PC and PETG. What's the difference between these two materials? Which one has better culture performance? How should we make recommendations to clients? They both have advantages and disadvantages. Firstly, PETG has high transparency and higher chemical stability and biosafety. For example, Products made of PETG can be used for storage of strong bases, and PETG doesn't contain bisphenol A, BPA. PC materials can resist high temperature and high pressure with better surface hydroprophicity and lower wicking effect. For judgment of pros and cons for cell culture products, the most important criteria is the cell culture status. We can see from the pictures that the growth curves of three brands are basically the same, with little difference between that of Nest and Corning's. Next, we'll learn about our high-efficiency Erlenmeyer flask. You must have questions about what contributes to the high-efficiency of high-efficiency Erlenmeyer flasks. Firstly, it's the bottom area of the shake flask. The area of the Nest 3-liter high-efficiency Erlenmeyer flask is smaller compared to that of the 3-liter shake flask from the other brands. For the same shaker, Nest 3-liter high-efficiency Erlenmeyer flask can be placed to reduce the usage rate of the shaker and then to reduce the client's R&D cost. Secondly, it's the appearance of the high-efficiency Erlenmeyer flask. The amount of foam can be efficiently controlled with a shake flask to reduce the shear force borne by cells. Lastly, the breathable membrane area of the high efficient Erlenmeyer flask cover is bigger, which enables a higher oxygen flux and therefore leads to higher density of cell culture. First of all, the cover of Nest flask can be screwed or unscrewed smoothly. The lower edge of the cover is thickened and widened for better leak proofing. The 5 liter high efficient Erlenmeyer flask is designed with an individual handle to solve the problem that liquid enters the cavity of the one piece handle as residue. The handle is detachable for flexible application. The bottom area and opening size of the Nest high efficiency Erlenmeyer flask are exactly the same as those as Thompson ones. Therefore, a lot of verification work can be reduced during the use or even a seamless replacement is possible. Major optimizations of our products are based on the client's feedback. We are grateful for all the clients who have helped us improve our products and support our products. The difference between the two liter, three liter, and 5 liter high efficiency Erlenmeyer flask is that the former ones have no handle and the user should hold the bottleneck when pouring. Many pharmaceutical companies have stipulated in their SOPs that it's forbidden to place the hand too close to the flask 
opening to prevent the hand from coming in contact with the opening and causing risks. The lengthened bottleneck design of the Nest Flex has eliminated this risk. What's the function of the liquid transfer caps? Why can't the user pour out the liquid from the flask by hand directly for liquid transfer? If the volume of the cell subculture is very high, the company will prepare a lot of culture medium first and store the medium in a large distribution center or reservoir bag for centralized distribution. In this case, how do you dispense the medium into each culture flasks? Some clients will use the blue cover bottle as we can see in the upper right corner. They first transfer the medium into the blue cover bottle via tubing, then pour the medium in the blue cover bottle into the shake flask in a super clean bench. The whole process is very cumbersome and can easily cause contamination. With our liquid transfer caps, our clients only need to simply screw the transfer caps onto the flask and connect the tubing to the reservoir bag. Then they can start liquid transfer with a peristaltic pump. Firstly, reduce the risk of contamination. Secondly, reduce the workload of washing, assembling, and sterilization of the blue cover bottles, greatly reducing the labor costs. Nest offers three models of liquid transfer caps, two-way liquid transfer caps, multifunctional liquid transfer caps, and inverted liquid transfer caps. With the two-way liquid transfer caps, we can pump the desired liquid into the shake flask with the peristaltic pump simply by connecting the inlet tubing to the tubing of the reservoir bag. The inning tubing of the two-way transfer cap is connected to the feed inlet to prevent splashing during liquid inlet. After replacing the transfer cap with a breathable cap, we can start the cell culture. Some clients believe that damage may be caused to the cells in the tubing if a peristaltic pump is used. For these clients, they can use an inverted liquid transfer cap to let the liquid flow into the next container using gravity without the peristaltic pump. The built-in tube of the inverted liquid transfer cover is very thin and is connected to the air filter to prevent liquid from entering the air filter. The tube is in contact with the flask bottom to ensure that the tube is above the liquid surface after being inverted. What are the advantages of the multifunctional transfer cap compared to the two transfer caps mentioned above? It has an additional function of the cell culture. For the two transfer caps introduced above, it is required to replace them with breathable caps for cell culture after completion of liquid transfer. As for this multifunctional transfer cap, cell culture can be started directly after completion of the liquid transfer. The cover is equipped with a breathable membrane and an air filter with totally enough oxygen flux. Moreover, the functional cap also possesses a sampling function. The sampling tubing is composed of a sampling valve and one-way tubing. The one-way valve can guarantee the one-way liquid flow, namely only outflow is allowed to ensure safer sampling. Meanwhile, the sampling tubing is equipped with a needle filter. Screw the syringe into the need filter to inject the liquid remaining in the tubing after feeding into the flask to reduce waste. Here, let's summarize the comparisons between the Nest multifunctional transfer cap and the other competitors. Brand T also offers two-way liquid transfer caps and inverted liquid transfer caps, but doesn't have multifunctional transfer caps. First of all, the membrane area of the Nest product is much larger than that of the Brand C product, enabling a denser cell culture. The Nest product is equipped with a one-way valve for sampling, while the product of Brand C only has a sampling tip instead of a sampling valve. 
Our multifunctional transfer cover has a PTFE needle filter, while the product of brand C doesn't. Our multifunctional liquid transfer caps can also be used for liquid transfer without a peristaltic pump. We only need to add a syringe on the needle filter for gas aspiration to transfer cell containing liquid based on the siphon principle. Now let's have a look at the structural advantages of the liquid transfer caps. The Ness liquid transfer cap has a one piece design while the connection approach of the products from brand A and brand C is an insert design with silicone parts at the connection site, which can easily have liquid remaining and pose a risk of bacteria growth. The one-piece design of Nest products reduces the risk of leakage, detachment, and medium residues. First, the major client group of shake flasks. The mainstream client groups are pharmaceutical companies of monoclonal antibodies and companies concerned with cell therapies. 